guys and welcome back to my channel. This is finally the very long awaited Camp America packing video. So I've had so many people ask me to film one of these and I did mention in like my very first Camp America video that I wanted to do one now because even though camp is still like six months away, I'm definitely still like buying things and starting to get things ready, see what I need for the summer. So it is a good time to obviously film this video. I did say that so I'm going to film this one. I have got some bits here that I'm going to show you that I am going to take. Obviously, I haven't got everything ready that I'm going to take to camp because we are still quite a way away. So yeah, I'm going to film this video today where I just talk through, I've got a whole list of things. I'm going to talk through kind of like amounts of things you need to take as well. I've watched a few Camp Breaker videos over the past few days and loads of like packing videos. Um, I've been getting inspo from like some things that I didn't think to take and then I've watched someone else's video and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. Um, but then also things that I personally wouldn't take. Um, again, this is obviously going to be different every video you watch because, again, every camp's going to be different as well. Certain camps will allow certain things, some things you won't be able to take to certain camps. It's just the way it is. So this is obviously based on my camp, my experience going to camp and what I personally find works taking. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to do a list, going to kind of give you some like amounts of different things to take and then I am going to put everything up on the screen. Um, so I'm going to like bullet point everything off and then list how many you need. And then as, as I'm talking about them, then at the end, I'm going to put everything back on the screen all in one place so that if you then want to take a screenshot of it, just so you've got a whole list all in one place to take. And then closer to the time, probably a few weeks before I leave for camp, I'm going to do a physical pack with me video where I actually get my case out and I show you exactly what I'm taking with me um, because I would find that I tried to find a video like that before I went to camp and I couldn't find someone physically packing their case. I saw loads of packing videos of people obviously just saying oh I'm going to take like 10 to 12 t-shirts and stuff like that but I like seeing the actual kind of clothes and things that people take with them. Just because my first summer I do feel like I was so unprepared with what I took and then obviously going back again, I knew a lot better kind of things. I'd wear a lot more. Some things I remember taking to camp and I didn't even touch. Like it didn't even come out of my suitcase. So hopefully this is a little bit helpful. Yeah, I'm very excited to film this video. Um, like I said, my list is so long. Obviously you, you are gone for, what, maybe like two to three months, depending on if you travel after. So you are going to need a lot of things. Like my packing list is fairly long. So yeah, I'm excited to do this video. I am also going to do like at the end, kind of like my ideas of what not to take. Um, again, this will completely vary. If I say something you're like, oh my God, no, I want to take that with me, then that's absolutely fine. This is just my experience from my past two summers. There's certain things that I personally wouldn't take. Um, I did actually see one girl's video. She did a packing video and she compared the kind of things that she would take to Camp America's official packing list on their website. And I thought this was such a good idea. So when I was planning this video, I went through Camp America's website as well. And I kind of like read up on what they advised to take. And theirs is very like bare minimum. Like I think on any agency, they're not gonna obviously go into a lot of detail of like what style shorts you should take and what style like t-shirts and jackets and stuff. So theirs is like very bare minimum. So obviously it's a good guideline, like a base to start. But I do think it is good to watch these like packing videos. So like watch a fair few. Um, that's what I've done anyway. And it's given me some really good ideas of what to take. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now because I've just been speaking for like five minutes just to intro the video. So first off, um, I'm just going to explain. I did mention in my last video, um, I did like one of my FAQs was to take whether you should take a backpack or a suitcase. Um, and I mentioned that I take like a massive suitcase i'll try and insert a picture of it if i've got a picture of it here it's one of the ones that opens out and you can pack both sides of the suitcase also rolls on like all four wheels it's not one that you have to worry about like pulling towards you to carry because i just don't like those suitcases um i have got two rucksacks down here that i'm going to show you of ideas of like hand luggage bags to take um some people would literally just go with like two suitcases a big one and a little one i personally don't like not having my hands free when I'm walking around the airport and stuff. So obviously once you checked bag, gets checked in, and then you've just got a rucksack on your back. I just like having my arms free and stuff. So that's just me. But if obviously you want to have like a little suitcase instead, that's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah. So this is the first rucksack that I can't decide. Like I say, I've got two, so I can't decide which one I'm going to take. I actually bought this rucksack when I moved to Australia in 2019. 
and this was brilliant this is like your typical like this is a traveling backpack like this was so good it's one of the ones that like secures around like your waist and stuff as well has so many different pockets and compartments um I, oh i've got one of my packing cubes in here actually i spoke about this in my last video and this is what i like to pack all my clothes in so some of you will have heard of packing cubes i personally have never heard of a packing cube before i started going traveling and it is literally just these like fabric little bags this one's like got a netting on the back they're so ideal because you, honestly you can fit so many clothes in these little bags and it keeps it really organized as well so i would just put say like shorts in one and like nice tops in another just so that then when i'm like trying to unpack if on your first day you've got something going on you're like right i know i need a little t-shirt some shorts i know that they're in that that packing cube in that bag kind of thing so these are brilliant again i'll leave loads of links down below in this video for like obviously different things that I've bought for camp and things like this because these are perfect and I'm pretty sure I got mine on eBay for like four or five pounds for a pack of seven I think and honestly these are a game changer and especially in like little hand luggage bags like this you can literally just pack them in and then they all just slot in so nicely um, and it's just a lot nicer than having clothes and everything just all jumbled up so highly recommend these but yeah so this is the one rucksack that i'm considering taking i don't know if i do feel like, like i say this is more of like a traveling kind of like backpacking bag like this was perfect when i went to australia um but i'm thinking my other bag is similar size like pretty much the same but it's just kind of like this nicer rucksack looking thing it also doubles up as like a carry-on bag like this i feel like i'm gonna probably take this one just because if i'm traveling around america after i'm looking at going to places like i really want to do a few nights in new york i'd love to do new orleans like la maybe go over to the west coast do vegas so we're just gonna see but i think for camp this one will probably be a bit more ideal um again i've got a long time to decide like i say they are pretty much exactly the same size um this one is obviously just it is the better bag because it's got loads more like pockets and stuff but i do feel like this is more of i don't know we'll see let's not just spend this long talking about rucksacks because we're not really gonna get very far yeah i would advise taking a big suitcase a rucksack kind of size like that and then i will take like a little handbag or a little bum bag kind of thing that i can just keep kind of like my documents in my passport my phone just so that's on me all the time um that's my plan bag wise um so obviously first things up on the list um this is such an obvious one but again i watched one girl's video and she didn't take these with her and this would traumatize me so she said that she got to jfk or newark airport whichever airport she flew into and you'll kind of see when you get to the airport like there's a lot of people coming in to do the same thing and we kind of got split off from normal like tourists going on holiday if you're on like a j1 visa like you go into like a different section for like um border control so you can tell there's loads of people going to do camp because everyone's got their folders they've got their documents they've got their like ds 2019 all of that and this one girl in a video said that she didn't take any of her documents with her and for me i'm such a stress head and i'm the type of person that if i need one copy of something i'll take two just to be sure so I am, it is a little bit annoying that I am like that, but this girl said that she forgot all of her documents and I would be traumatised. So camp and your agencies will give you like reminders, the months running up to camp, like make sure you've got these printed off, make sure you take these even for your visa appointment and then obviously to get into the country because obviously you'll have your visa printed in your passport, but you have to have all the documents to go hand in hand with it. You have to have sometimes like your camp contract, um, proof that you are going to return back to the uk but again you camp will say all of what you need you'll get sent like a proper you will get sent a packing list from your camp and all the documents will be on there um so yeah make sure you you keep an eye out for that because that is obviously very important to make sure you've got all of those right so let's get on to the actual clothing part because that's the real reason everyone's here wanting to know how much of everything you need to take with you um so first one underwear i personally would take close to 20 pairs of underwear um again like if they're just like small pairs of pants just throw them into like again one of these like these are so ideal to just have all your underwear in even if you mix and you have like socks in there as well but the more pairs of underwear you have 
just just the better because same with socks they do go missing really easily and when you're doing your laundry in this massive laundry room that everyone else at camp is using think it's very easy for you to drop things or things get put into someone else's pile like, yeah if you can a few pairs of underwear like i've seen people say like take like between five and ten pairs again this is just going to be a personal thing that i would take i'll take a lot of pairs um the more pairs you've got the more covered you are obviously you can get over to walmart and target and stuff very easily if you do need to buy extra pairs but yeah i'd say let's say like 15 to 20 because some people will probably think 20 is a bit excessive socks i've literally put here that i'll take about a million pairs of socks and when i say that is probably how many i'll take i'm not even lying because socks you will literally end up going home with no pairs of socks towards like week five week six of camp you'll be like I have none i don't know where they go um but yeah like little like white ankle socks i'll take some of like my white like nike socks um just comfy socks really also i did think of this as a good idea take some slipper socks um these are really nice to obviously wear just like around the bunk um can get quite cold obviously in the evenings depending on where in america you are so having like a fluffy pair of socks something to keep you warm um even a pair of slippers just something to take with you that Again, you can slip on just while you're walking around the cabin. Sometimes you don't want to just be barefoot. Your cabin is in the outdoors. So once people have been like out all day, they've been like wandering around, things can get muddy. Like when it's shower hour, the floor gets so wet when people have just jumped out the shower and then they're walking around to get ready. Like it would like the floor will get wet. So having just some like, even just like sliders, sandals, like flip flops kind of thing, just something you can slide on your feet just to have in the cabin um just so that you're walking around some uh, going around barefoot is absolutely fine like i did that a lot but i am definitely going to take some slippers this year potentially slippers that i'm going to leave um just like i might go and buy like a cheap pair from primark so that i'm not then wasting space in my case so i'll take them there to have at camp and then i'll probably leave them right bras and sports bras um you will find that you'll probably wear sports bras me anyway i'd wear sports bras a lot more than say like normal kind of bras um but yeah sports bras off oh, i'll probably take six or seven sports bras maybe again i go to the gym quite a lot while i'm at camp so it's nice for me to have different sports bras um but yeah probably not six or seven let's see Right, this next one is literally something that I will take so many of, and it's just like little gym shorts. Um, I will take so many of these just because they're really comfy to wear with like your staff t-shirts, or just with like a big oversized t-shirt, like hoodies. These are amazing. I literally live in these kind of shorts. So not gonna lie, I'll probably take about 10 pairs of like gym shorts. Again, because I work on gymnastics, to be fair for any, any area of um, at camp, you'll need shorts like that, like gym shorts whether they're just kind of like the cotton shorts um, or just like the loose fit, like dry fit shorts kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'll probably take a good like 10 pairs of like comfy chill shorts, shall we call them? Um, but yeah, you will live, live in those kind of shorts. Okay, next one, denim shorts. These will literally be your best friend when you go on a night out or when you've got days off. Um, just because you want to feel like you've got changed out of the working clothes that you've been in so having like a nice pair of denim shorts just makes you feel a little bit more dressy a little bit more put together um love denim shorts we take four or five pairs of denim shorts say like a color like this a black color white color different colors um but yeah my mom literally tells me that i have an obsession with denim shorts and it's just taken me a while to find like my favorite denim shorts um by the way these denim shorts levi's 501s i think they are the things rubbed off because i've literally worn them that much but these are the nicest shorts the nicest shorts you will go on like like i've said before you don't realize that you do go out as much as you do um like i said my camp so we get a week we get four nights off a week and one full day off a week so you will go out and do things and you want to look nice you want to feel like you've got kind of like dressed up in a way because you spend most of the summer not really dressed up at all kind of just in your chill clothes so when you get the chance to go out you do want to dress up and look cute jeans so i've got jeans on here because it is good to have like one pair of jeans i personally hate wearing jeans in the summer unless they're kind of like nice like oversized baggy jeans um 
if you're obviously more comfortable wearing jeans than shorts then swap the numbers around like say take five pairs of jeans if that's what you'd prefer me personally i just don't like wearing jeans in the heat i just don't like how they feel um i will probably take one pair of jeans though just because like i say at the start of summer when it's june it's not at its hottest as it would be like july and august so for nights off it is nice to have a pair of jeans just when it's a little bit colder um so you still feel a little bit dressed up but yeah one or two pairs of jeans i'd say so tops and t-shirts this is always a really hard one because every like i say every video i've watched people have been like oh just take like five to ten pairs of t-shirts and no I'll... me personally i am that person that literally will take about 20 t-shirts just because I feel like I can. Um, I am also an avid overpacker. So if you're watching this and you're thinking this is absolutely ridiculous, you do not need to take that much stuff, then that's absolutely fine. This is, again, this is just personally what I've found has worked for me. And I hate when I get abroad, even on just a holiday, and I feel like I've got no clothes. So I'd always rather take more than wish I had stuff that I'd left at home. You know what I mean? If you've got the space, take it so you will get given staff shirts so day to day you won't be in your own clothes obviously you'll have like your own like shorts and shoes and trainers and stuff on but t-shirt wise you'll be given all your staff shirts um our staff shirts we got given three white shirts and three blue shirts i'm pretty sure um so it's quite good obviously those kind of colors go with everything so i felt like any pair of shorts i had went with those colors anyway um but yeah the only time you'll ever really wear your own t-shirts is obviously on nights out, days off, and then what you want for traveling. Um, you'll want like cute little like dressy tops. Like um, I'm gonna insert a load of pictures in this video just of like outfits and things that I've wore at camp. So you can get a little bit of inspo, kind of see the vibe of what other people were wearing as well. Um, again, it's just about being comfortable. Whatever you'd normally wear, just wear that. Like it's it's not a fashion show. Camp is not at all like that um but it's just when you go out on a night out you do want to feel dressed up you want to feel nice so take some of your nice outfits that you potentially wear going out in the uk as well or anywhere for that matter i realize i keep needing to remember that it's not just uk people that are watching my videos so anywhere <laughs> take probably like 10 nice little tops say like the one i'm wearing now that is nice enough that i'd wear out but it's also quite nice to chill in as well um Little, just, oh, it's so hard to actually say until I do my physical pack with me video and I go through every single item and I show you exactly what I'm taking. It is hard. I'd say probably take like 10 nice dressy tops and I'd probably say like 10 chill, like casual t shirts, like oversized t shirts, like vest tops, normal t shirts. So probably like 20 tops in total. Watch me do this actual pack with me video now and I've got like 50 t-shirts because that's the kind of thing that I would do. Right, nice outfits, dresses, skirts, jeans, nice tops. I've touched on a few of these anyway, but dresses are so nice to wear, especially when you've got days off. But yeah, nice outfits, like little play suits as well. Um, again, like when I went into New York for the day, I wanted to have a nice outfit to wear in New York. I didn't just want to wear like shorts and a t-shirt so i wore this really nice little like striped play suit um and again plan for what you want to wear when you go traveling after if you know you're doing like a full month of traveling and you're going to be out and you want to have pictures and you want to like go out for food go out for drinks like you want to look nice like plan for that as well i realize camp yes is a lot more casual a lot more chill but if you are going to have that traveling time at the end make sure you've planned for those kind of outfits as well so nice outfits like dresses wise i'll probably take like five or six little dresses maybe um at the end of my camp we do like a an end of summer banquet thing but that's when all the kids like all the counselors get really nicely dressed up um so plan for something like that again you can reach out to your camp and see if they have any sort of like events on or stuff like that um some camps won't do things like that so to say if you're taking something that you don't necessarily need just reach out and say oh do you have any kind of like themes events kind of thing that i need to bring an outfit for just so you've got a bit more of an idea of your specific camp as well um but yeah dresses i'd probably say five or six <laughs> she hopes and this is a nice one take some plain t-shirts for arts and crafts um a lot of people do this with their staff shirts but we used to take them down to arts and crafts and you could like tie dye them you could have like your names printed on them like do lots of different things with your t-shirts but if you've got like a plain white t-shirt to take it's really nice to like go down to arts and crafts and have something done with it right this next one is probably my favorite kind of thing to wear and that is swimwear now i'm not even being excessive when i say this isn't half of the amount of 
bikinis and swimming costumes that I'll take to camp. And yes, it is a little bit stupid. And again, my mum thinks I have an obsession like I do with denim shorts. And I probably do. Um, but my first summer at camp, I literally didn't take nice swimwear. And when we went on these days off and we were like, like I say, chilling by the waterfall. Or we went to this place where we hired boats and we just were like in the water all day. I didn't have nice bikinis and... That's something that I changed my second year and I had so many more nice bikinis. Um, but for camp, you will just want to have kind of like one piece swimming costumes. Most camps, you won't be able to wear bikinis. You need to be like fully covered up. So swimsuits, one pieces for camp. Um, camp America literally advised to take like two swimsuits. And for most people, that will be fine. But for me, that would not work. So... I'd probably say maybe like three or four actual swimsuits because again like these are obviously perfect to wear for days off as well that like you don't have to have a bikini um but yeah three or four swimsuits and then I'd probably say bikini wise this is one of my favorite bikinis I bought this when I was in Bali for the summer and this is so cute and these are the bottoms this is just turning into like a little swimwear haul now um but yeah Bikini wise, I just love bikinis and I'm the type of person that could potentially change into like two bikinis in one day. So I'm not even going to lie, I'll probably take upwards of 10 bikinis with me. Again, I'm planning for my travelling after. If I'm going to go over to the West Coast, do like LA, Vegas, I want to have nice bikinis to wear when I'm there. So again, this could seem really excessive to some people not needing to take this many, but like I say, bikinis is just one of my favourite things. So I'm going to have enough. And like I say, they're small. They literally compact to like nothing. So when they're in the packing cubes and you've just got all your swimwear in there, it's basically like nothing anyway. So that's what I always tell myself is that I can take loads because they're not that big. Um, staying on like, on like the swim topic, take a beach towel with you. Um, I don't think I took a towel my first summer just because I think I forgot to pack one, not because I didn't think I'd need one because I knew I would. Obviously you get given towels at camp for like showering and stuff. And when the kids go down to the pool, they get given towels when they're there. Having your own towel, obviously for days off. Like I literally remember getting to a day off and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't even bring a towel. So when you, again, like you're out of these places all day, you need a towel to dry off. It's just a chill and sunbathe, like something to sit on. But I would normally take a beach towel with me that I know I'm going to leave. Um, just because, again, so you don't, it doesn't take up too much space. Beach towels aren't too bad anyway, because, again, they do they do fold quite flat. Right, onto pyjamas. Um, I'm the type of person that doesn't really wear pyjamas. I prefer just wearing, like, a big t-shirt and some shorts or, like, a big jumper if it's cold. Um, but I think I am going to take some actual pyjamas because some of the theme things, we do have, like, pyjama themes. Um... So some of our staff parties, staff parties, staff like meetings on a Saturday will have a theme every single Saturday and pyjamas is one of them. And I was always a person that was like, oh, I don't actually have like a cute pair of pyjamas because I don't actually wear them. But I want to take like, I'd say take like a short pair of pyjamas, so like shorts and a little t-shirt or a little vest top and then take some like long pyjamas as well. Like I say, it can start off quite cold in the summer. So if you've got kind of like not necessarily like fleece fluffy, you don't need really fluffy pyjamas because you probably will like be too hot. Um, just like long jogger kind of like style pyjamas, long sleeve maybe. Again, if you're like me, you just like chilling in jumpers and stuff. That's absolutely fine. Um, like my pyjamas are normal clothes normally. Um, but no, I am going to take a pair of pyjamas this year, I think. Um, and then I also mentioned about slippers and fluffy socks. Again, just to wear around the bunk um, to feel a little bit cosier in. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the nightwear. Right, onto like jackets, hoodies, <laughs> that kind of thing. Again, something I take way too much of. Um, I would definitely, definitely, definitely say take a rain jacket. Um, near enough anywhere you are in America, it's gonna rain at some point. Remember my first summer, we were really, really lucky with the weather. It barely rained, and then my second year, I remember it just being wet and rainy all the time. Um, so yeah, rain jacket is ideal. You can literally get those ones that just fold into like a little bag and um, so they take up no space whatsoever again if you want to take a cheap one that you can just leave there um because you don't think you'll really use it again that's a brilliant idea that's something i'll probably do is just take it to leave um but yeah you will need a rain jacket because the one thing you don't want is when you walk into dinner and it's pouring with rain and then you literally just like soaking wet because you've got no rain jacket on right sweatshirts and hoodies this is my downfall again um um, I remember my second summer at camp, I literally wore like three sweatshirts on the plane because I couldn't fit anything else in my case. Um, but yeah, 
I'd probably say five or six sweatshirts, hoodies. Um, like you'll go shopping quite a lot throughout the summer. Um, we have a place called Salvo. Well, everywhere has it, Salvation Army, but we call it Salvos. And it's this massive, massive thrift store in the little town that our camp's in. And they have the most amazing stuff. Like I got a champion sweatshirt my first summer that cost me $2 and it's still going strong and I've literally taken it everywhere with me. So you will have the opportunity to buy stuff as well and that's kind of what I need to tell myself is that I remember how much good stuff I saw when I was out there. I'd also say take like a nice going out jacket as well. Like I had a really nice oversized like blue denim jacket that I just could chuck on. Again, when it's late at night and you're going out, can be a little bit colder. It's a footwear. Um, one thing that you do de definitely need is a pair of flip flops pair of flip-flops to wear in the shower um i hadn't i talked about flip-flops in my last video but i hadn't talked about wearing them in the shower and i realized that was the main part of taking them um obviously they're like communal showers when you're showering in your bunk you're showering in the same showers as your other counselors as what the kids use as well so like shower shoes shower flip-flops um just so your feet aren't touching the floor that everyone to be fair everyone will wear flip-flops anyway the kids all come with their own like shower flip-flops but yeah make sure you've got some of those um even just then walking back through the bunk if you've got flip-flops on it's just a bit nicer for your feet um i'd also take some like normal just like sliders and flip-flops to wear elsewhere as well again like to have a pair of flip-flops to slide on just on your days off or just when you walk into an activity area or something like that um trainers now i'm gonna say i'm probably gonna take four or five pairs of trainers i think it does sound really really excessive but i'm probably going to take two or three pairs that i plan on leaving at camp um again like i've mentioned you will do things that will mean clothes and shoes will get wrecked they'll get muddy they'll get ripped so having a few pairs that you're going with the intention of not bringing back like you'll just throw them in the bin once they're used um so yeah probably like four or five pairs of trainers you obviously want nice trainers to wear on a night out like i'll probably take like converse some air force um yeah some nicer shoes to wear that again you feel like you're a bit more dressed up wearing right this next one is really really good to have but i wouldn't say it's necessary to pack um this is to have like wellies or like rain boots as americans call them um i i didn't take wellies with me did really need them because like i say when it rains it really really rains and because you're obviously on a big grassy area it does get muddy um so wellies are really really important to have but you can also get them from walmart for like ten dollars so instead of taking up loads of space in your case i would wait and buy those when you get to camp um i do have a pair of wellies at camp but i can't remember if i took them with me or if i bought them there even if you can get like the little ankle wellies like not the long like all the way up to your knee ones just take like just some little sort of like walking boots kind of thing just that are waterproof and your feet are going to get really really wet and really really cold right next thing is a trusty war bowl um you don't realize how much you'll actually drink and what you'll get through at camp um it's really nice to have your own water bottle as well obviously you've got access to loads of water fountains and stuff at camp um so having your own water bottle that you can just fill up as and when is so ideal i do really recommend one of the kind of like flask ones because it just means that your drink stays cold all day and even if you want to put a hot drink in there like coffee or tea it'll stay warmer for a lot longer as well um again you can get water bottles for really really cheap at walmart or target um i just find it quite ideal to take with me traveling because if you've got an empty water bottle you can obviously take it through security and everything and then just fill it up as and when you need to um so yeah water bottle is a must um i'd also say maybe take like a small first aid kit i did both summers i'm pretty sure just something that has like some plasters in some like bandages um not a big one like literally just one of the little like pocket ones um just because obviously you've got a, a, like full access to a healthcare center at camp but if you just like cut your finger open or something you don't have to go all the way to the health center just to get a plaster so have a few little things on you like that will be absolutely perfect Right, lip balm is an absolute must, whether it's like Vaseline, a Nivea lip balm, Carmex, make sure you've got some lip balm because <laughs> everyone will have lip balm at camp. Right, now these next few, um, these are still in like the same category, so kind of more like your toiletry kind of things. Um, these are kind of things that I said in my last video, I personally don't think I'm going to take 
with me to camp i'm gonna wait and buy when i get there i'll probably take a few of like the little travel size things um just to tide me over for the first few days um but you do go to you will literally go to walmart or target or some shopping center within the first like three or four days of getting to camp i'm pretty sure so you can buy all your toiletries there my first summer i took literally like a full size shampoo and conditioner and shower gel and body wash and I was like, I've just wasted so much space. And obviously they're heavy, like toiletries weigh a lot in your case. Um, so things that I would buy at camp, sun cream, you can get like the spray, like the, in the cans, like the spray sun creams at Walmart, really, really cheap. Um, again, I'll probably take everything of this in like a small little version, but I won't buy my big versions until I get to camp. Um, bug spray, deodorant again i'll take little ones shampoo and conditioner i'll buy big ones when i get there shower gel i'll probably take a bottle of shower gel with me actually um just to obviously use straight away if not a little one just a normal sized one but things like body sprays i would just take one of the little body sprays that you can just have again you'll use it throughout the summer and then you'll chuck it away when it's gone and um, the little victoria's secret ones are really nice to have all the hollister ones um just like not a really really expensive perfume um because you obviously want to smell nice but you don't want to take an expensive perfume with you but yeah they're really ideal any of your toiletries really if you can get small versions or even just like the little um portable you can buy like the packs from primark that have the empty bottles in and they come with the little stickers that you can label them up for what they've got inside them um and just then empty some of your stuff you've already got at home to take to like start you off and then when you get there i would just honestly buy it there um again purse sets would work for me if you know you want like a certain like hair care product or you can only have a certain shower gel and stuff then obviously take it with you right travel adapter make sure you've got adapters because obviously you're gonna have american plug sockets they're not gonna be the same plug sockets so i would probably take three or four adapters just because if you're wanting to charge like your phone and you've got something else you want to be using just take a fair few right next thing is just a pair of sunglasses that you're willing to lose or break or get lost you're not going to be too heartbroken over saying that i am probably going to take my ray-bans with me as well again just because i want a nice pair of sunglasses for when i'm traveling and stuff after but i probably won't even use them throughout the summer i'll probably take a few pairs like i said primark do some good ones new look do some really nice like just like cheap sunglasses that if they get broken or lost you're not going to be too too fussed over um this next one's a really nice one actually it's kind of like some home comforts like take some photos with you i remember i took a load of like photos printed out and then you can then like stick them up around your bed um and it is just nice like just to then look at photos from home and um, obviously you are away for a, a long time and um, for some people it'll be the first time that you've gone away at all so having some photos something to remind you of home is nice to have um just like little sentimental items like even if you want to take a little teddy like a little stuffed animal that you've got from home um little things like that just to make you feel a little bit more comfortable is really really nice to have right next up is cameras and i've spoke about cameras in a few of my videos but i'll just show you so i'm thinking i'm going to take my polaroid and i'll take a couple of disposable cameras this one has already been used i need to get it developed but just thought i'd show you um but yeah these are so nice to have just to like carry around with you at camp and just to take photos of you your campers like just of camp itself um and like i say developing them at the end of summer is so nice because you don't have any idea what photos are on these like i started with this camera in like may and i used it the whole summer while i was in bali so getting this developed is going to be really really nice so i do need to do that actually um and then polaroid these are so nice to have um i think i'm going to get a new polaroid before i go to camp because this one's been playing up a little bit um but yeah these are just so nice obviously the photo prints out straight away so especially when you're getting ready with your campers and your counselors in your bunk and either you're getting dressed up for like a themed event or something uh, these are so nice to have like next up i would say take a blanket i'm only probably going to take a blanket that's about this size again they're like six pound from primark they're not expensive um and but when you first get to camp you will just be given like a pillow some sheets and stuff to make up your bed and like i say the first few nights it's cold like i remember it being freezing and until you can get to walmart or target to buy like nicer bedding and stuff it's nice to have just a little blanket straight away so you can wrap yourself up nice and warm um and again to leave it at camp so i'll probably buy i don't know if i'll take this one i'll probably buy probably buy a different one and just leave it at camp 
afterwards um but yeah like i mentioned in my last video i do have quite a lot of bedding already left at camp that i've collected over the past few years but obviously it's been it'll be three years since i've been to camp by the time i go back so i don't know how or what obviously state any of that bedding is going to be in it could be absolutely gross and i have to rebuy everything anyway um but yes yeah, so having a nice little blanket to get yourself started before you can go and buy other bedding is very very nice to have even for on the plane like just have a blanket on the plane is ideal i saw someone else recommend to take this and this is a really nice idea it's just to take a pack of cards pack of cards are brilliant obviously to play in the bunk with your kids or even to take when you go out with your friends like drinking to play like on like a day off or a night off um they're just nice to have and it's something that's fun to do so yeah pack of cards is a nice one right now this one probably should have gone at the top of my list because it's one of my most important things to take and it's a portable charger um you don't realize how amazing these are until you get somewhere like camp and you unless you're in your cabin you just haven't got somewhere to charge your phone all the time um as well when you're on nights off like again this could just be my camp i'm sure it's not but when we go on nights off and we can stay overnight somewhere we would say go to a hotel and we book a few rooms and you'll have a few people staying in each room so if you can't access a plug to charge your phone like a portable charger is so ideal to have because the one thing you don't want is for your phone to die when either on your day off you want to call home or even just to obviously have your phone on you to take photos and stuff like that um this portable charger is probably one of the best things i've ever had i got bought this before i went to australia traveling um and it's like a solar powered portable charger so you can obviously charge it up normally as well but it does charge in the sun which is great again has like a little flashlight at the at the end as well um this is brilliant it is really quite heavy and the size of it is quite inconvenient but it is really good and i've found that these are so much better than just like the little like cheap ones you can get from like the supermarkets or anywhere else um next thing i would say take a book with you and um, you do get quite a bit of downtime um especially when you're just chilling in the bunk with your kids when they're chilling as well like when we have rest hour after lunch um we'll just go back to the bunk we'll literally chill you can play this way you'd like play games with your kids they'll probably sometimes they just want to take a nap like i remember one one rest hour we'd had such a busy morning and we literally all just got back to the bunk and all of us slept um just had like a really nice nap but things like to have just like a book to read even for like you traveling to and from camp um on the plane on the coach it's nice to have things to do to occupy yourself but yeah when you have a little bit of downtime as well just things it might not even be a book for you just whatever it is that you like to do in your spare time take something with you that you can do like for yourself right this next section is one of my favorite sections um this is like your spirit clothes kind of like i've spoke about your fancy dress things that you might want to take to camp as well um and this is just things like your really neon colorful like items of clothing like even if you just got a pair of like colorful socks or a pair of like colorful gloves or like a long sleeve like bright t-shirt or a normal bright t-shirt um anything if you're looking through your wardrobe be like oh i could wear that like really dressed up fancy dress kind of thing again i'm going to post some photos of some of the themes that we wore and did at camp um just to give you an idea of some of the things that you might need or you might want to take if you do have access to them again don't worry too much about having much of this with you because your campers and other counselors will have stuff and you'll find that you'll trade like some of my kids are like oh can i wear that those like really colorful socks you've got or that headband or that scrunchie like you'll swap and use other people's things as well so don't go out of your way to spend loads of money on like a tutu or like um colorful things like you don't need to spend a lot it's more just like looking at things that you've got and thinking oh i could like i could make that work kind of thing um things like glitter though if you've got just some like face glitter this is so amazing to have and your kids will absolutely love you for bringing glitter uh, like whether you put some glitter in your hair or on your face or on your arms again your kids all love this um so yeah glitter is nice to have as well as things like colorful hair stuff like i got this for christmas off my mom um this is just one of the like the hair chalks um and again color in your hair the kids will do that a lot um face paint stuff like that as well if you've got anything like that just little things that you take again they won't take up much space um and they're really really nice to have because you kind of feel prepared when you get there in my other videos i did go through like some of the um different like themes things that you, we've done at my camp so we'll have things like tight and bright um 
like white out black out where you just wear all white or all black um animal themed um jerseys this is one of my jerseys that i'm going to take this year just like little like sports things like this like will just be so ideal that you probably wear normally anyway like you'd just as an oversized outfit kind of thing um but yeah like jerseys are good to have like i said pajamas um just some like crazy clothing that you wouldn't wear every day in the uk but if you've got it it'll be honestly it'll be perfect for camp like perfect i feel like this video should be so much longer but it's already an hour long so i can't have much more else that i'm going to be taking to camp but i know for a fact when i do my actual pack with me video i'm gonna be like oh well we were taking loads more oh makeup i haven't spoke about makeup actually i literally just looked over there and that's where all my makeup is um someone did ask me in my last video which i'm going to talk about in another video in a bit more detail as well is do people kind of wear makeup at camp and it's a completely personal preference um you wouldn't obviously get like full glam at camp for a normal day but if you're some person that wants to get up a bit early like put a little bit of foundation on some blusher bronzer whatever that's completely normal um i normally don't wear much makeup at camp just because you're running around like crazy you've got long days you want to spend as much time in bed as possible um so it's a completely personal preference i like having just like a really glowy like sun cream moisturizer thing and i'll probably just have like a nice like cream blusher on that's normally all my go-to will be at camp um but again like when you're then going out on nights out and days off and stuff you do want to get a little bit more dressed up a little bit more glammed up so it's completely up to you i will take a fair bit of my makeup with me just because again nights off days off and then you're traveling after you still want to have nice makeup to get ready if that's the kind of thing that you want to do um but yeah so taking makeup with you um again some of the makeup stuff at like walmart and target is amazing and most of it is so much cheaper than in the uk so I'll take my main kind of like basics, but there is a few makeup bits that I do want to get. Sephora as well. You can get to Sephora quite easily at the mall. Um, so yeah, people will take some makeup. I'll probably just take a little toiletry bag with a bit of my makeup in. But yeah, right. This last section, I did say I'm going to do kind of like a what you don't need to take. And this was kind of taken as inspo from kind of like agency websites and things that certain agencies have said and things that I've been told that I need to take to camp and I was just like, there is no need to take that. Um, again, I've touched on like your main big toiletries. I personally wouldn't take them with me. Um, spoke about that already, but Camp America recommends you taking a sleeping bag. And I wouldn't, I don't think nobody ever used a sleeping bag at my camp. And if you were going to go on like a little kind of like camping trip within camp, they've got that that they can supply for you anyway. But yeah, I hate to think how much room a sleeping bag would take up in your case. And it's just not necessary unless your camp have reached out to you and said right you need this this and this like without fail then that's obviously a bit different but if it's just like a recommendation thing you don't need a sleeping bag at all um also an alarm clock you don't need an alarm clock your kids will wake you up depending on if they're the younger ones they'll be up before you are anyway or reveille will go off which is kind of like I never know how to describe reveille if you've been to camp you obviously know exactly what i'm talking about but it's just kind of like the sound that plays throughout the whole of camp to wake you up if i can insert the the sound i will because then you'll all understand what i mean um but yeah, you don't really need an alarm clock i think i only use my phone as an alarm or i use my apple watch as an alarm if i was getting up a little bit earlier to go to the gym um but you don't you don't need to take a separate alarm clock at all um hair tools like this is one that i've had a few people ask me about as well is like can you take like a hair dryer straighteners curlers that kind of thing um you can obviously take them they don't want you to use them in the bunk just because obviously like a fire hazard um but for like your nights off and stuff like when you're off camp and you get to the hotels if you want to straighten or curl your hair and then obviously if you're traveling as well you do have to really factor in that you could be in america for another month after you finish camp which is then obviously like your holiday travel time so if you want a pair of curlers for that like by all means take them with you um you don't need to take like a hair dryer straighteners and curlers because you'll find that people you're at camp with will have had one or the other i actually got these straighteners that double up as a curler for my birthday um so these are really really good if you want like a two-in-one um kind of thing anyway yeah don't go over the top of taking loads of like hair appliances because you'll have no room for them you won't be able to really use them at camp and you just won't need them also don't take fragile or valuable items um if you've got like a really really expensive bag that you love 
don't take it to camp because it is very easy for things like i've said to get misplaced to get lost just watch the kind of things that you take with you um i'm not going to take anything that's worth a lot i was even just debating before doing this video i don't know if i want to take my laptop with me and obviously it'd be so ideal if i'm carrying on i'm still doing like camp youtube videos obviously i'll need it to edit on um and nine times out of ten you are going to be absolutely fine taking things like that um but like it's easy for things to get lost it's easy for things to get broken like you're in a different environment so just really have a think of the kind of expensive valuable items you are looking at taking and just ask yourself if it is worth taking them um but yeah fragile things as well if you've got like a really nice necklace that's really sentimental and you got for your birthday that means loads to you don't take things like that because you're going to be so upset if things like that get broken or lost right and then my last tip is quite hypocritical because i've literally been talking about how much stuff i'm going to take with me um but it's to leave room in your case and that's going to be really really hard for me the only thing i'm going to tell myself is that i can leave room in my case because a lot of the stuff that i will be taking will be leaving at camp as well um but like i mentioned earlier you'll go shopping a lot you'll go out a lot you'll exchange clothes and things with like your counsellors um like one of my friends when she was ready to leave camp i was staying for a a week or two after and she was like oh she's like, I'm, I'm gonna leave all this here like do you want any of it and i ended up having like a lot of her t-shirts um some like jeans pair of shorts so people will like say oh do you want this so be prepared to have like your suitcase multiply like everything in your suitcase will get so much more by the end of camp i know you're gonna end up probably leaving a lot there but you will also gain a lot throughout the summer as well right i do think that's it for this video I, feel, I have spoke for a very very long time i hope i've actually touched on everything like i say i'm going to add everything onto the screen now or i will have already done it um just so you can screenshot all all the items all the amounts of things that i personally am probably going to take um this has made me so excited to eventually film my actual pack with me video where i show you everything that i take watch a few of these packing videos because you'll probably find like a good balance between a few different people um because like i say i am an avid overpacker i do probably go a little bit over the top but i would also like to be more prepared than not to have anything so yeah i hope this has helped and given you some inspiration um for kind of like what to take how much of what you need to take because like i say even though camp is six months away I'm still like planning and preparing and buying things now. Um, so I know a lot of other people will be as well. I have started to see a few new packing videos come about as well. So I think it was a good time to like film this and get this out. So yeah, I hope this has helped and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.